I know you gave the defense kudos on Saturday night, but I was I want to do a, a good story on because I think your defense could be one of the best in the league. What have you seen out of them the, through the first two games? Yeah, man, um, they've they've been really good, man, and they've been good all throughout a, a training camp. You know what I'm saying? And I think it just makes us better as well as an offense. Um, but. They're, shoot, lights out, you know, they put up a donut, so that's awesome. And then shout out to Sean White, too, as well. I forgot to do that, man. He came in, he was like five or six, I think, and w was on fire as well, so uh, great job. I know you guys always like to give out the game balls, but I think there should have been 12 given out to your defense because mm -hmm. 1977 was the last time we saw a donut, and you just don't expect that in the CFL. I'm not sure if people really appreciate it. No, exactly. I mean, you can get points off of a missed field goal, off of a punt, you know what I'm saying, just going through the end zone. So uh, defense did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. Um, they did a great job, man. So just excited for them. And uh, just, yeah, I hope we can keep doing that every week. It's not probably not going to happen, but that would be awesome if it does. I respected the job that you did on Saturday because I know you, you made the one mistake, which you probably admit, but I thought that you took what the Elks gave you mm -hmm. and you just kept on moving the chains. Is that a fair assessment? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. I think so. Um, the way that the offense has been performing going into Winnipeg on Thursday, how do you see the showdown? Because for me, it's the game of the week. And, and I think it's one of those where you, even though it's only the third <clears throat> game, I still think it's one of those where you, where you look where you're at. Yeah, it's definitely a huge game, man. Rivalry game. Um, we're excited, man. They're excited, man. Um, it's always a, a great game when we play against them. So I'm excited to go against them. They got a great defensive coordinator, a veteran defense, um, savvy defense, man. They, they're good at what they do and uh, very confident at what they do. So um, we have a confident group over here as well. So we're, we're excited to match up against these guys, the best team in the league. And um, yeah, it's going to be a fun one. I think you can you can have a, a phony confidence, but I think there's a well in confidence. Two games in, I think this is a very good football team. How do you see? this team right now, even though only two games in. Yeah, I, like you said, we, I feel like we're a very good football team, man, and we just got to keep taking it one game at a time. Can't look too far ahead and uh, just keep working each day. Can you look at Thursday's showdown as being a gunslinger showdown between you and Zach Caleros just to see who can out duel each other? Or, or as I, 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 I'm, I'm looking at it that way as a fan, but you going head to head, I mean, he's been one of those guys who's been up there for a few years now. Right. and. I'm just going to do my job. I just got to take what they give me. Um, if it's a check down game, it's a check down game. If it's a run game, it's a run game. I got to do whatever the, the play caller calls, and that's it. Guys, got anything? If, uh, if Dominique can't go, and it looks like he might get lucky back, but what, what's, what, how, what does that do to the game if, uh, if Dominique can't go? It's a next man up mentality. Um, next guy's got to be ready. And um, we're all pros here. Obviously, we love and we need and want Dom out there. You know what I'm saying? But if he can't, hey, um, next guy's got to be ready. And we got to just come to work and be ready to go.